Hey there everyone, welcome back to another v boss video. In today's video, we're going to be fighting the Twins of Terror. Now the Twins of Terror are essentially the advanced version of the Eye of Terror. So it can be spawned the same way by activating the Terrarium at night. Except for this time, you need to give your Terrarium a Nightmare Fuel. Which, you can find your Terrarium located somewhere in your world in the Terraria chest or the Conspicuous chest. Now just like the Eye of Terror, you can only fight the Twins at night. So if you don't kill them both in one night, don't worry, you can just activate your Terrarium again and they'll spawn the next night, with the same amount of HP left over. Again, this is a reference to the Twins fight in Terraria, so you are technically fighting two bosses here, so it is best to leave one away before fighting the other one, as fighting two bosses at once is pretty difficult, especially on a Beefalo. Now the Twins have the exact same attack patterns as the Eye of Terror, except they just do it better, more damage. And they also have two phases as well. Now the way the second phase is activated is that both twins will have a health counter that are separate from each other, but they also keep track of each other's health. What I mean by that is if both twins lose a combined health of 7000 HP, they will both transform into phase 2. Or if one twin is killed over the other, it will automatically make the second twin transform. So basically if you're fighting them one at a time, the first eye you're fighting won't transform until it reaches 3000 HP and this means that the second eye will be in phase 2 for the entire duration of its fight. So like I said earlier, since you are fighting two bosses, it is best to fight one at a time. In this video I am fighting Spasmatism first, but it doesn't really matter which one you choose to fight first, as long as you just do one at a time so you don't get overwhelmed. Now there really is no set number of hits for each twin as there is a lot of variables involved meaning dodging times and the amount of suspicious peepers you let hatch. Similar to the normal Eye of Terror fight, getting rid of or getting a lot of distance from the Eggs of Terror before they hatch should be top priority as they can easily overwhelm you in the fight. Now even though the twins have the same attack patterns as the Eye of Terror, each twin actually has their own type of personality. So Spasmatism actually likes to prioritize charging over spawning eggs. Now while he still spawns eggs, it's not as much as Retinazer does and Spasmatism's charges are faster, but they don't go as far. And these effects are further increased upon reaching phase 2 of the fight. So the best way to dodge the charges is by doing short zigzag motions or triangle-like movements, as the charges do go in a straight line. I did bring the pan flute for this fight, as the twins do spawn eggs of terrors more often than the normal eye of terror does. So if you ever get overwhelmed, you can always put everybody to sleep to give you time to regain health or deal with all the eggs. So with that being said, I will see you at phase 2 of Spasmatism. If you are fighting the twins one by one, the eye that you are fighting will transform into phase 2 upon reaching 3000 HP. So for me it was Spasmatism since I fought him first. Now in his second phase he gets even faster and gains a lot more charges. He'll also slightly spawn more eggs. Now you can still dodge him the same way as you did the first phase, you just have to be a lot more careful because his charges are more frequent, so you just have to be on your toes a lot more. Again don't be afraid to use the pan flute to heal or to deal with the suspicious peepers as again this fight can be difficult but with that being said that is spasmatism i will see you guys at the retinazer fight
So here we are at the second twin, which for me was Retinazer. Retinazer is actually on the opposite spectrum of Spasmatism, so while Retinazer's charges are slower, they actually travel further. Retinazer will also prioritize spawning over charging, meaning Retinazer can actually overwhelm you a lot easier than Spasmatism could. Now if you fought the twins one by one, this means that the second eye will actually already be in phase 2. This is why Retinazer for me is in phase 2 already, because we had just killed Spasmatism. Now because Retinazer's charges are slower, but they travel further, I actually think it's better to take Retinazer away from the eggs rather than trying to fight them all. You can still dodge Retinazer's charges the same way as you did Spasmatism's, with zigzag motions or triangle-like movements, as again it's practically the same thing. Remember you can use the pan flute to pause the fight for a bit if you need to heal. I wouldn't really recommend using it to kill the eggs as there are so many that Retinazer can spawn. And I would only use it if the suspicious peepers are already on you. But that's basically Retinazer done. Regardless of which twin you fought first, the second fight will always be a lot tougher as they will automatically be in their second phase. A key difference to note is that unlike the normal Eye of Terror fight, if you skip a night without spawning the twins, they actually won't regen HP, but instead will make the Terrarium go dormant, meaning you can't fight them for another 15 days. So you have to make sure you spawn the twins every night, otherwise you will miss out on the fight. That's about it for the fight though, thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one!